Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am showing you, this is my first wash and style since I got my hair cut. So I figured we'll do it together because I have yet to review one of my favorite hairlines right now. And that is, you guys can't even see that. <laughs> Resource Curls. I've been using their stuff for a while now, almost a year, and I really, really love their products, so I thought why not do a video today showing you guys my personal review on the products. I already washed my hair, so it is ready to go, and again, this is my first time styling my hair since the haircut, so we're gonna see how fast this takes. Um, also, I wanna say really quickly, thank you guys so much for all the love on my last video. I'm so happy to know that you guys really liked it too, and a lot of you said that you are ready to cut yours off too, so go for it, girl, if that's what you really want, because it feels wonderful. <laughs> so, let's get started. You know what's so crazy? I had the towel on, right? Cause I'm like, ugh, it's so uncomfortable having a wet back. And I just realized that my hair doesn't touch my back. <laughs> now I have to deal with a wet neck. So anyways, I'm just gonna use my water mist sprayer, water mister, whatever it is, to make sure my hair is wet. It gets dry like pretty fast. So as always, you guys already know when styling, it's best to do it on wet hair. Some people say soaking wet hair. I don't like soaking, soaking wet, but it's definitely gonna be wet, like it's dripping. <laughs> okay, so the first product I'm using from them is the Resource Curls Refresh and Detangle Spray. This has coconut oil, olive oil, and shea in it. No sulfate, silicones, or parabens. And this is a refresh and detangle, so you can use it like on day two, day three hair, but also to detangle your hair. So, you know what? It's one of those sprays where it's probably better to spray it in your hand. I just remembered that. I don't use this one as much as I use the other products, but look, when you spray it, it literally becomes a cream. So it's not really like liquidy. Just remember that. <laughs> spray it in your hand first and then distribute all over. I hope this allows me to use products for a longer time now that my hair is shorter. <laughs> Cause before obviously I had to use a lot more product and now I'm using my wet brush to detangle my hair. This still feels so crazy to me, guys. So my haircut lasted me, well, it had been like a week <laughs> just cause I loved it and I just kept kept it going, kept refreshing. But I did end up putting it up a couple times. And some people did ask me, can you still put your hair up? And I am very happy to report that I can still do a ponytail. So that's good, especially in the summer. Well, it's not summer, but in Florida it is. <laughs> it's so freaking hot. So I am still able to do a ponytail, I can do a bun, you know? So I can put it up, thank God. Cause you know when your hair's too short but you can't lift it up, I can't deal with that, that's too much. <laughs> so before adding the other hairstyling products, I have to remember with my new haircut now that I have to style the front part, you know, this way. <laughs> so yeah, I have to get used to that part. So the bangs are up front, okay. I'll part it just for now so I could talk to you and you could see me. <laughs> So the next product I'm gonna use is the volumizing hairspray. This is my go-to volumizer right now. It's my favorite, it works so well. This has red, algae, argan oil, and rosemary in it. And you could use this on wet hair or dry hair, but I like to use it while my hair is wet as well so that, you know, while I'm styling, it's just working to like get bigger as it dries. And then when I refresh my hair, I add this too, and it just, it does its thing. So I'm gonna spray. My roots under here, and then I spray like under here. The only thing is sometimes, I mean it's not a big deal, but when I spray a lot, like it gets stuck down. Come on, it eventually pops up, but yeah. All right, so spraying back there, spraying up here on the sides, and on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to add the curl defining cream. This has aloe, coconut oil, and shea in it. And no sulfate, silicones, or parabens. Excuse you. <laughs> this cream is good. I like it. It's not 
super light and it's not super heavy it's like a perfect middle ground at least for my hair type because i don't need super heavy so it's just the right amount of moisture for my hair and i'm gonna apply it all over i like the smell of their products it's light it's not an overwhelming smell to me it's kind of like a little bit lemony i never feel like i have enough i probably have to get used to like <laughs> the new amount of product i need I'm always used to putting a lot. This is all new to me. I gotta see like how much works for my hair at this length. Always adding to the back and the ends because that's where my hair is most dry. All right. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, this is their Light Hold Gel. It has aloe, flaxseed, and thyme in it. Again, no sulfates, silicones, or parabens. And it says that it's also made with 95% naturally derived ingredients. So this gel has been a favorite of mine ever since I first tried it. The hold on this gel is just great. So good. I feel like the gel itself is also volumizing. The way the gel is, it makes my hair like bigger than usual, which I love. <laughs> Here I go again, double dipping. I never really put a huge glob at first. I always take like little bits at the end. So I just gotta feel like my hair is totally saturated. All right, so the back is good. See the benefits of having my hair straight while it's wet is I can see the actual length of what it'll look like if I like <laughs> straighten it or blow it out, you know, so. This is a cute length. I told you guys, if I had naturally straight hair, it would be a bob. I just love short hair, it's so cute. Um, I don't, I wouldn't call my current haircut a bob, at least not when it's curly, but this could be a bob, kind of. So I'm gonna scrunch. It's still nice and wet. I wanna lean my hair more forward because that helps with volume too, especially with this type of haircut. I still can't believe how short my hair is. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. I'm like, oh man. Okay, so I think the products are in. There's a good amount in there. I'm gonna use my hair towel to scrunch out the excess water so that my hair could start drying. This line is super popular right now. People are loving it. They are sold in Ulta now. Um, I'm really happy for her. The owner is Julissa and she is Mexicana. So she is, I think she's from LA. It's nice having, you know, a fellow Latina representing and having a successful brand and business. And obviously the products are for everybody, but naturally Latinas are gonna love this line and wanna support. Let me know if you guys have tried them already. Um, again, I know they're popular, so I'm sure a lot of you have, but I'm just curious to see. So, okay, I'm gonna let my hair air dry just a little bit, and then I'm gonna diffuse. Do I wanna diffuse on camera? Hmm, a little bit. I'll diffuse a little bit for you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that part is boring, so like, but it is nice to see like the, the progress. So we'll do that in a little bit. <laughs> I will be right back. Okay, I got my Dyson. I'm ready to diffuse. This is the first time I'm diffusing my hair this short, so this will be fun. Hopefully it's a lot quicker than before. <laughs> my whole hair can fit into the cup of the diffuser. That's crazy. Not my whole hair, but most of it. <laughs> Looking at the time on my camera, it's been 10 minutes since I've been diffusing my hair. My ends are, they feel totally dry. Um, it's just my roots, of course, that take longer to dry. But man, 10 minutes, that is not bad. So we'll see how long it takes to get the rest of my hair, but basically half of my hair is dry. Um, so yeah, I took off the diffuser top to get the air like directly to my roots so that it can dry a little faster. finished <laughs> my hair's finally dry so all in all i don't know that might have taken a little less than half hour but before it would be almost an hour so 
drying time might have got cut in half a little bit. I keep playing with it. Of course, this one curl ended up drying a little wonky. That always happens and it's like directly in the front. But yeah, so these are the results. They're really defined, but I do feel that residue on my hair, but it's not a bad thing. I feel like, cause you could just wash it off. I feel like that's the thing that kind of allows the hair to be voluminous if that makes sense um yeah so i don't know what it is but whatever it is the products work okay they give your hair volume and bounce and definition oh my gosh this curl i can't <laughs> ay, ay, ay. hold on sorry pause i don't want to soak it but help it a little bit um so yeah if you struggle with moisture maybe use a little bit less of the gel um, and a little bit more of a moisturizing product. But I always love my results after using their products and their line. I have mixed up their gel with some other products and it still ends up coming out really good. So I think this gel, even on its own, does its thing. I haven't tried the cream by itself just because I'm more of a gel person. Like even the volumizing spray, sometimes I use that with a totally different line of products, but I just love the spray because it really works and it, it makes my hair voluminous. It really does give me like body and bounce. So even if you were to just try to spray at first, it's worth it. When it came to fluffing my hair, I was already like constantly doing that. So now that my hair is shorter and it's even easier fluff, I am constantly touching my hair, which is not a good thing, so, but I can't help it. <laughs> So this video is not sponsored, if I didn't say that already. The products were gifted to me from the company, but it's not sponsored. These are my honest opinions. I really, sincerely love the products. Um, so like I said earlier, they are sold at Ulta. I think they're sold at Target as well. But as always, I will leave links for you guys in the description box if you are interested in trying out the products. If you have tried out the products, let me know which ones you've tried and which one is your favorite. Oh, also in my last video, some people wanted to see the back of my haircut, so I will do that. The back of my hair is usually not as defined as the front, so I don't even know what it looks like, but <laughs> yeah, that's the back. Is it me or does my hair look longer already? Like, did my hair grow in one week, right? Like, I feel like it looks a little bit longer. What the heck? Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.